Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. How are you, my Cappies? So, Cappies, let's see what we got going on. Some of you definitely have some travel that's going to be coming your way. Now, this could be road trips. This could be flying. And I'm really seeing this in a lot of readings um, this month and moving into the next three. So, I don't know if this is traveling for the holidays. Um, but I, it looks like a lot of things with COVID are opening back up. For some of you, this could be. But I feel for a few of you, you're going to be traveling back and forth. Now, this could be a job. You could be driving Uber or Lyft. You might be having something that you're trying to make some side money with. Some of you could be truck drivers. But there are a few that are going to be traveling for a vacation. So I will say make sure you get your vehicles checked. Some of you, um, especially if you have older vehicles, you may be looking into having to get a new one. And I know you probably don't want to hear that. But if you're trying to um, ride it out, you know, make sure that you're doing the maintenance at least to try to get it from A to B. Don't take it too far if you can't. You know, if you got to rent a car, you got to rent a car. I definitely feel like there may be some delays with travel here and there. So make sure that everything that you need is updated. Um, and like I say, make sure that if you are driving your car that you've done the maintenance on it. For a few of you, I feel like there could be some issues coming in with money now if you are working a nine to five you may be in a situation where you feel like the money is not enough so i feel like somebody trying to do a side hustle possibly start their own business i do get a little bit of frustration either way it goes for some of you it's like i want a better job but maybe you're feeling like you can't get a better job if you're starting your business you may be having some issues with it not growing now let me tell you when i started my business it was one of those things where it didn't take off right away. So I had to work a nine to five to kind of supplement because I would use that money to pay for my, my rent until I started paying it. So some of you might be doing that. What is it? Um, borrowing from Paul to pay Peter. You may be doing that. It's a temporary thing because it looks like that if you are starting a business, you're planting some good seeds and there's harvest. It's just going to take a little time. And I'm pretty sure COVID-19 has something to do with that. Some of you definitely are going to be getting some type of loan. This could be unemployment. This could be a business loan. This could be somebody loaning you some money, but I feel like there's going to be some money that's going to be coming your way. So if you put in for something and you're waiting for some type of confirmation from it, I feel like you're going to get something positive, um, some positive information saying that you've been approved. May not apply to everybody, but I feel for some that definitely is money coming in. Now, for a few of you, it may not be all that you thought you were going to get. So be prepared that there may be some things that um, are going to be taken out, especially if you owe any type of taxes or anything. You may be getting some money, but Uncle Sam may be taking his part out of it before it comes to you. I do feel like there is some opportunity that's coming in. Um, let me see you could be dealing with a male somebody who opens up a door for you i don't know if this is um a friend who's telling you about a job or connecting with somebody when you start working there that becomes a friend but i am getting like a male um energy or a masculine energy so it could be female with masculine energy but I am getting a masculine energy. This is somebody that kind of steps forward, takes charge, and they seem to be trying to help you out or opening a door for you. So it could be somebody who may be a little bit bossy. They might be keeping you on your P's and Q's, but it is showing that if there's an opportunity there, this person could be a part of why that opportunity is coming for you. Some of you, if you do have a business, make sure that you're not undervaluing valuing yourself. I feel like there could be something where you're putting something out there, but you might not be pricing it to where it is effective for you to actually make a living off of this. So if you're doing handcrafted products, y'all, that is more money than stuff that you buy, you know, pre-made in China. So, you know, like my sister Mambo Sierra, she hand wraps jewelry. That's not something that you're going to charge $3, $3 for because takes a little bit more time she also does um reborns and those are expensive so if you're looking for jewelry or reborns definitely connect with mambo sierra you can find her on ig at beautifully deadly conjure um let's see youtube she's sierra 
BDC, Beautiful Daily Collins of Sierra BDC on Instagram. Did I already say Instagram? Is she on Facebook? Facebook, she would be. Is she Mambo Sierra? I'm getting so confused with social media. But Jury Reborns, look her up. People like that, and it looks like for some of you, you are making handcrafted things. But like I said, I feel like you're undervaluing it. I do feel like there's going to be some type of overflow in Christmas. So if your stock is not or your inventory is not there, you might want to prepare for it because I feel like there's going to be this thing where people are buying more homemade stuff this particular season. And I'm not sure why. I do feel like if you do have a business, some of you are feeling like it's not where you want it to be or you're kind of feeling like I want to give up on it. But remember, you're planting your seeds and you're going to reap what you sow. So if you give up too soon, you might end up missing that. I think it's going to take a little bit of patience. There's some frustration there, but starting a business is not easy. If it was, everybody would do it. Just remember that, my entrepreneurs. I do feel that there's something coming in where you guys may be having to take some type of test. Now, I don't know if this is a test for a job, but I feel like it has something with money attached to it. So you could be applying for a job, but you have to either fill out some type of test or there's this could even be a drug test. Spirit is saying you're procrastinating. So if you're trying to look for something and there's a hurdle that you have to get over, Spirit is like, do it because there's money on the other side of it. So if you have to study, you have to study. Now, for some of you, this could even be a driver's test. If you are trying to get your driver's license or if you are working for a company where you may have to drive, you may have to deal with that. I feel like there's a connection that's coming in with somebody who is of a different culture or a different race than you. Now, or this person is just really different than you are. I'm picking up that they could be Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and you possibly could be dealing with a Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Some of you are going to be getting some good news about a move coming in. Um, for a few of you, you may not have a choice with this. Um, I'm getting something where something comes to an end. So this could be somebody either selling their house. They used to do this a lot in New York where they would sell the apartment or whatever and then still collect rent. And then the people didn't know that the building was sold. And then by the time that it came out, they had to move because the building was sold. So some of you literally could be dealing with a situation where you might get something sold underneath you. So make sure you stay on top. If you're renting or anything like that, keep your paperwork, keep your receipts, just in case you come up with that issue. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's really unscrupulous and they could be trying to evict when they don't need to evict because they want to get you out and they're taking COVID-19 as an opportunity to do that. Some of you, it just seems like you're coming to the end of a cycle where there's a move that needs to come through for you. And you're moving someplace sunny. It could be hotter or sunnier is what I feel. And I feel for a lot of you, if you're making this move, it's going to be someplace near water, a lake, a beach, a big pond, something like that. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Some of you may be thinking about relocating. Maybe you have um, come to the end of a cycle where you're living and you're ready to move forward. Um, some of you could be moving because you have to take care of a parent. Or family. If this is not you moving because you have to take care of a parent, some of you might be finding out that your parent is planning on making a big move. I get this big thing of independence and wanting to be left alone, Capricorn. So some of y'all could be dealing with you don't want friends bothering you. You don't want family bothering you. You just want to be by yourself. So we know that you guys kind of go in hermit mode, come out a little bit, peek your head out and then go back in. So some of you are getting really comfortable and complacent with it. And I think it's because 2020 is making it easier for you just to be in your element. You know, a lot of people are freaking out. Y'all at home like piece of cake, you know, I got this. But I do feel that you may be pulling away from family in an unhealthy way. And I'm not sure. I mean, of course, get in where you fit in with this. If you have a family member that is abusive to you and you know you got to pull away, pull away. Some of you, I feel like you may have people that need you and you're pulling away and it could be detrimental to your relationship with them. But like I say, get in where you fit in with it. Some, I feel like there's going to be a talk. I do fit, get this issue of having to defend yourself and that could be why you're pulling away. Maybe somebody's asking you questions or why, why are you doing this? Why are you going there? Why are you, whatever? And you're like, okay, look, no, 
I don't want to do this with you. So I'm just going to stop talking to you for a little bit. So I feel for some of you, if you're feeling like you're getting irritated with a family member or a friend, um, even a coworker, somebody who's asking you a lot of questions, you're like, okay, look, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going in my hermit mode. I'll catch you next week. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Watch out for backstabbers too. Some of you could even be in relationships with somebody who um, is going to do you dirty. So spirit is like, kind of watch your back. All right, let's see. We have Ace of Coins. We have Four of Coins. We have the Five of Blades. We have the Seven of Blades. We have the King of Coins. We have the World Card. We have Four of Cups. We have Ace of Cups. The Emperor, yes. Yeah. Some of y'all might be hooking up with somebody you work with. Four of Blades or somebody that you're meeting on a vacation or a trip. So you could be dealing with a long distance relationship. Page of Wands. The Death Card. Two of Wands. It's funny the Death Card has come up in every reading. Transformation. Queen of Cups, which should, this is a year of transportation, transformation. Two of Swords. Eight of Wands. Oh, there's that unexpected move. Ace of Wands. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with this move that's coming in. Normally, Eight of Wands is about a message that's coming in really, really quick. But then we have the Two of Swords. And this is somebody who is not trying to see a problem which means that some of you may be in a house situation where either there's an issue with the house, whether this is structure, foundation, something needs to be repaired. Somebody doesn't want to see what's going on. It's like, I don't, I don't want to look at it. But if you look at this card, and I'm going to get as close as I can on my phone, it says final notice on that plate. Some of you may be behind in your rent or you may be having a hard time paying your rent or you could be dealing with a shady landlord that you've been behind for a little bit and this person is trying to evict. It is showing even though you don't want to see the problem, there's a move that's going to happen. So for those that are kind of skating on that borderline of do I pay, do I not pay, pay as much as you can, keep your receipts, make sure you have communication open. Some of you may need to talk to this person to make sure that they're not going to evict you. For a few of you, I feel like there's a thing that's coming in where either there's a problem with your house or where you live where you're going to have to move. Be prepared for it. Ace of Wands is showing new beginning, moving towards something with a clean slate. Some of you are going somewhere where you're literally starting your life over again, and this move is a big part of it. And it's showing that you can write whatever you want on it. So you're going to, at some point, it's been showing up a lot in Capricorn readings, and I think even on the... Um, Spirit messages for a lot of people that are choosing number six or Capricorns. And they're like, I'm moving, I'm moving, but when? It's coming. It's coming, you guys. So be prepared for it. If it hasn't happened this year and I feel like you're overdue, Spirit is going to push you out. And it's showing that because there's a problem that is going to make you move. So be prepared. I know it's kind of hard when you, you can't see it coming, but be prepared, all right? So we have Ace of Coins. We have a job coming in. Some of you, I feel like, are going to be applying for something. Now, you may be applying for something because your money is low. Like, okay, I got to get another job. I feel that there is um, some issues with possibly doing without or feeling a lack. Because here's the thing. When you look at this card, and I always love it because it's showing that this kid is extremely talented. But they're not getting paid enough for what they do, which means they have skill sets. And remember where I told you where you could be undercharging and not really doing your work? This is somebody who does really great stuff, but they're not charging enough for it. And it could be making them struggle to the point where it's like, okay, now I got to look at another job to help supplement. Some of you do not want this. I feel like with the five of blades, getting another job or working outside of what you're doing could be a conflict for you, but you may be coming to a place where money is going to be a conflict and you have to go ahead and get a job. I feel that if you are working, make sure with the seven of swords and the five of swords 
that you're paying attention to your money and your paycheck. Some of you could be working a job where they're not paying you enough for what you do and you feel like you're being robbed and you are. There could be some arguments or conflicts with money, with a company, with a business, um, with an employer. You know, I'm doing this, but you're not giving me what I think I deserve. My checks are coming up short. I need to look into this. Some of you could be having some type of work conflict with somebody on your job. Pay attention to things that you share with people. If you work with a group and you're working on a project and you have a particular part you're supposed to do, don't share that with everybody. With this theft card, we got a thief. This is somebody who will steal your wallet, steal your mama, steal your baby, your money, steal your ideas. You got to be really careful. And literally, he got all kind of shit in his bag. Jewelry, he took the lamp, the laptop, the fox, the kids fall on him. What the fuck, man? So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who really has no conscience. Be careful with the stuff that you have. Make sure that your wallet, your purse, if you're working in a place where you got problems with this, keep up with your stuff. Keep up with your stuff. I feel like some of you are literally going to be fighting with somebody because of deception or feeling like somebody took something away from you or somebody's going to come to you and go, you're stealing from me. It feels like somebody is saying, you're taking my money. So you could be having some type of conflict where somebody is coming to you and saying, you're stealing from me. Could be, it's a general read, vice versa. Whatever is going on, Capricorn, the money is coming to you. We got the king of cup, king of coins, I'm sorry, which is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So if you are having issues with somebody, and for some of you, this could be legal. This could be a new job opportunity. This could be a money-making opportunity where you're taking advantage of something. And it's showing that money is coming to you. You may take a job from somebody else. There may be a settlement that comes your way that somebody has a problem with. But it is showing, if you look at this, and remember what I told you about planting your seed and sowing it. In one hand, he's dropping his, his seeds. He's pouring them out his hand. In the other hand, he has a bag full of money. So he's going to reap what he sows. Some of you have some money that's going to come your way, but it's because of your hard work or your tenacity or your patience that brings it in. So be prepared for that. Maybe a little bit of struggle. Maybe you had to fight with somebody. Maybe there was competition for a job, but it looks like that you're going to get something that brings in really good money. And it's because of your hard work. For a few of you, this is a new job that's coming in. Now, I do get travel, like I told you, some of you road trips for a few of you. You could even be going to a different country because we got people of different ethnicities sitting around a table. You could be going to a different state. You could be going to um, someplace that's very diverse. You might even be working somewhere or working with people of different races and different colors. You could be offered a job that takes you out of your comfort zone. Some of you may be moving um, because you're offered a job somewhere else. And it's showing that this actually is a good paying job for you. So I will say if it comes up, research it, do your homework. If it feels right, take advantage of it because the move may bring you in a place where there's more financial stability. Now, you may have some people that don't want you to leave. With the five of the four of cups, I feel like there may be somebody, um, and I get judgment. So for some of you, you may have somebody who's like, okay, why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? I feel like for a few of you, you feel like you're underappreciated. Like I'm offering somebody something and they're not noticing me. They're not paying attention to me. This could be you or this could be another person doing this. This could also be um, depression. Somebody that is just in the dumps. Like I'm just having a hard time with my emotions. This person is kind of shut down and they have somebody that's trying to bring them out of this funk, but they don't want to pay attention to it. So some of you could even have somebody trying to bring you out of depression or trying to get you to open up to communicate better with them. And you might not be able to feel it. And for some of you, general read, vice versa. You could be doing this to somebody else, putting energy into them. And they're like, okay, I don't, I'm busy. You know, I got my music on. I'm in my own world. But this is almost to me hermit energy. So for some of you, I feel like this is going to be you kind of pulling away. I feel like if you're doing this for a few, it's because you got some really major decisions that are coming in where you may even be leaving somewhere. And remember where I said you might be moving somewhere closer to water? There's water in this background. Now, it is showing that you definitely have love coming in, Cappies. Could be a person of a different race, different culture, different religious belief. You could meet them online. You could meet them at an event. But it is showing a connection with someone that's coming in. 
Now, this person may have kids. If they don't have kids, you have kids. This could even be a blending of a family. So even if you're dating, I feel like there's going to be a connection possibly on a family level with you and someone else. Now, we're getting the emperor coming in, and this could be a man who is divorced, who has children. This could also be connecting with somebody that you work with, somebody in authority. Some of you may be, like I said, finding love in a job situation. Maybe you're not looking for it. So this could be that man that I told you is coming in. He could be opening a door for you. This could be a friend that's saying, look, I have a job opportunity. You need to go ahead and take it. For a few of you, though, you may be connecting with somebody that you work with. Could turn into a love interest or your boss or somebody that you're dealing with could turn into a love interest. Now, I don't see three of swords here, but for some of you, please be careful because I feel like this emperor, um, he may present as single. Some of you are going to find out that this person is married. Now, he could be separated. They could be going through some stuff, but he may have a little bit of baggage that's coming into this. Um, his family is still on the picture behind him. So he may be emotionally attached still to the person that he was with, even if they are separated. Take your time with this. Some of you, if you don't meet him in a job setting, bless you, babe. Bless you. You can meet him on a trip. So there is something with a vacation or travel that's coming in. Um, I do feel for a few of you, you're tired. You're exhausted. This feels mentally, spiritually, and physically tired. So take care of yourself. Some of you are taking on another job or you're taking on more and it's like, do I have enough energy to do it? And I feel like you need to go ahead and recuperate before you do anything. You have something that's opening up for you that's really exciting, Cappies, and it's something that you've been wanting to do because it looks like there's an energy there of let's connect. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign. You could hear from somebody that's in there flirting or this could be something that moves really fast with this person, male or female. Now, we do have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there could be a connection with either a, like I said, an air sign or a water sign and fire. I do feel like that this person is coming in and there may be them seeing you on social media. They could be watching you. They could be stalking you. This could be somebody who's like, okay, I notice you. So if you're putting yourself out there, you know, spruce yourself up a little bit more because this person is really kind of checking you out. I get that this is a social media, social media energy. Somebody who starts to reach out with you with uh, communication. So I wonder dating site too, possibly a dating site, but it is showing somebody who reaches out with communication. And it looks like this person wants a partnership. Now, this could be for business or love, but I feel for some of you, it is love. Now, we have something that's coming up where the transformation card is coming through. It is coming through on top of these relationships. You could be meeting somebody that actually brings something out in you in a, a different phase. There's a part of you that literally seems like it's going to die and be transformed. Now, will not apply to everybody, but for some of you, you're going to meet somebody that brings something out in you that needs to come. Part of this is bringing you to this this ace of wands there's a transition or transformation that's coming through that is bringing you to this transition of peace or confidence or being comfortable thank you spirit comfortable in your own skin for a few of you though you may hear that there is a female figure in your family that passes away because the death card was underneath this queen of cups so you may have a spirit connection. If you look at this card, we have a female spirit that's in the back and she's trying to let these people know I'm okay because she's smiling. Some of you may have mediumship abilities or you may have connected with a female that was on the other side. She's letting you know she's still with you. She's watching over you. This person was very nurturing. She could have had like a mother energy to you. So if this person has crossed over, I'm sorry, you guys, my prayers are with you. Condolences to you. But this person is letting you know I'm still there. Because if you look at this, this is an older woman with a younger woman who's still having communications. For some of you, though, I do feel like you're going to be connecting with a water sign person. But that could be for a specific person, that message. The good thing, Cappies, is your final card is the Ace of Wands. We got messages coming in about new beginnings. And the clean slate is showing you literally have 
the the ability to make it whatever you want to be you're rewriting your life at this point this is what i want to do this is where i want to go this is who i want to be as a person and it looks like a positive energy because if you look at this this woman is smiling now for some of you this could be happening later in life with you you may be coming going through a phase or that transformation where it's like okay you know i'm not that same person anymore this is who i am now and I'm about to write my story. Some of you may be painters, you may be writers, you may be doing something very creative that is gonna put you out there. With the two, the two of wands, this is being in the spotlight, being acknowledged. If you see people are cheering, this person is on the stage and they have fans that are kind of like, yes, yes, yes. Some of you, there may be some creative, creative endeavor that you do that pushes you out. And you're gonna have people that are looking at you. This is either people who are coming to you through your DMs or PMs, and it's like, look, I got my eye on you. I feel like we can do something. Some of you may be a little bit guarded at first with this person. You may not be accepting of what they're offering, but I feel like for a few of you that this is really a good love connection that's coming in. You just got to be open to it. I feel like a lot of you can't see it because you're exhausted, you're tired, and this is mentally, emotionally, and physically. But take the time to take care of yourself. You have money coming in. You have opportunities coming in. And for a lot of you, the stress is the money. I need the money. I need to pull myself together. I need to get to a certain point. You will because this energy is coming in quick. Messages are coming in quick. And then we have this clean slate that's showing you get a do-over, Cappies. If you're not happy with the way life is right now, you get to make life what you want it to be. You have opportunities coming in. So you may have to get out of your own way, but it looks like with the death card, you are. And it's because you have spirit help. You have somebody in the background that is watching you. They want better for you. They're trying to tell you, come on, you can do better. You're changing. And it's a good positive thing because she's smiling. So you got somebody who's nurturing you on the other side. Some, this could be mother, grandmother, sister, um, a friend just lost her aunt, so this could even represent that. So I will say, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the messages that spirit is giving you. This person is showing up because they're giving you confirmation to let you know I'm still here with you. I'm walking with you. I'm working with you, and I'm bringing you to a better part of your life. Pay attention to your dreams. Even if you don't believe in spirits and things like that, you're going to see a lot of doors open for you because this person wants you to have this clean slate. And like I say, you get to make it what you want it to be, Cappies. For some of you, you have some healing that you need to do in your family, whether this is with your mother, your father, your sisters, your children. There's some things that need to be let go of emotionally because I get conflict that's coming in and it could be out of frustration. You know, I'm upset, but it's showing that this energy can be fixed. It's a temporary thing. Either you're going to walk away from it, or you're going to fix it, or you're going to keep fighting. So you got to make a decision about what you need. Go to family therapy. If, it, if you feel like you can't do it yourself, go to family therapy and see if you can work it out. Because I feel for some of you, you feel you need to let this go to move to move forward, whatever that is for you. But you got the clean slate. What are you going to make it? What you going to put on it, Cappies? Where y'all going? Let me know in the comments what y'all doing differently in 2021 that is going to take you out of this energy and move you forward. All right, you guys. I love you.